Hello everyone, we have our news for the week, so let's take a look. Maintenance is normal time as usual, and ending with maintenance is the Final Fantasy XI event, so that's the Puppeteer uh, Master Crowns, as well as the extra events to get the uh, accessory for Shantoto and uh, the box summon. So if you need to finish that, you have until maintenance to do that. Also, Dark Vision should be closing uh, with maintenance. If you have not rerun the final fight that they reset, uh, make sure to do that before the maintenance. And this week is going to be Deoxys, which we already knew from the live stream. So we have a login for that. We'll get uh, 30 shards for him. He has a premium unit and all. And he's part of uh, the Dark Lineage storyline. So this is going to be a lot like uh, when we got Dark Rain. So it's going to be multiple weeks. And we get a login uh, for the event and everything. And then at the end of the event, we'll get a free vision card. So exchange shop, normal stuff there. Again, premium unit. So his shards are not in the shop. The uh, campaign, so it's normal, uh, half energy, all chambers, and everything there. Let's see, special bundles. They have a special one. Uh, so it looks like they just renamed the Mystery Crystal Master Crown bundle that we've seen. And Fountain of Lapis is coming back. We are getting a daily free 10 summon. And we're getting it for six weeks, which is. Kind of nice, actually. Might be able to actually get a new vision or two out of that. And Dark Rain is getting his Master Crown and boosts. So we'll have an event to do uh, just like the others where we'll be able to get his Master Crowns for free. And then he'll get a couple of extra boosts as well. So one of the things for doing the event, he'll get his 150 Dark uh, Magnus. Gets a lot of uh, flat magic as well. He also gets a leader skill. So we can take a look at some of the boosts on the JP side here. So for Dark Rain, he'll get his 150 Dark Boost Magnus for doing the event. You have to clear and do the special mission for that one. Then he'll get his boost here. We'll give an extra 90x modifier to his limits. His leader skill is going to be just 100 attack and magic to dark or anniversary. So that should be the JP anniversary tag on global. And then his super is going up too. So he'll get uh, 30 spear down, 80 spirit, and 350 on his uh, boost there. And just the static there. Not too bad, a decent little boost for him. Help him out a little bit. And we are getting our leader skills this week. So they're doing some updates. So a few units are getting leader skills. So Dark Fina, Warrior's Prayer, and Lady Shantoto are getting 100 attack and magic for just dark units. Uh, Gabranth is getting 100 defense and spirit for dark units. And then we have Sakura and Nicole, the return versions, are getting 100 attack and magic for just the JP anniversary units. And then Ibarra is getting hers, which is still just labeled for dark units. And then uh, Deoxys will have his, of course, as well. And with the new version, so we'll have a app update and everything. We're getting some autoplay settings. And then they're going to let us uh, just go back and clear dark visions for fun. We won't get scored or anything on this. This is just going to be a, a way for us to check it out and have fun with it. It's zero energy cost and just uh, essentially a practice mode to go through. And we'll have uh, stats on all of that there added. They're also removing uh, the pop-ups when we're doing summons about auto-converting all the uh, material units. So that'll just speed up summons a little bit. And obviously leader skills are being added as well. We will be able to check out the categories of all the units. So we'll be able to see all this in game so we won't have to wonder. And they're going to have filters for the categories as well. So building teams will help out. 
That'll help out a little bit if you're building around uh, certain leader skills. So a decent amount of quality updates there for the new uh, app version. And so for Reigns, Master Crowns, we're getting the advent of the Emperor. So just like all the other ones, it'll be a few stages. We'll get four crowns total for free so that we can max out one Dark Reign. So we'll run through that. Probably going to be limited to uh, Brave XP's units. Which shouldn't be too bad overall. And we have our Dark Lineage. So this is going to have its own little story. Just like when we got Dark Reign and there was that whole story there. It's going to take multiple weeks. There's going to be a bunch of units uh, introduced and everything for this. And then at the end we'll get a free card. And then we're getting another, essentially, box summon, it looks like. Yeah, box summon event. So farm the event, get the tickets, summon from the box. And then there's also going to be a daily uh, fight that we can do to get some extra stuff. So that won't be too hard. And then for the summon itself, so Deoxys, just him, and... Premium unit, so they're doing the usual step ups there. Again, his special step up has 50 sh uh, shards for him, but no tickets towards pity. So if you want to go to pity for him, you'll need 20 tickets. So probably better to do the step up that has the actual tickets on it. So he is a brave shift unit, attacker in both forms. So he's not true Brave Shift. He, only, he gets four turns in the shift and gets kicked out. And he has to wait four turns to go back. So super two-handed greatsword. 220 attack. Uh, he'll get 500 flat attack from it. Everybody else can get 100% human killer. Regular trust is heavy armor. 60 attack, 50 defense, 45 spirits. And 75% dragon killer. If you don't need Dragon Kill, it is nothing special on that, really. His leader skill, 500% attack and magic, 200% defense and spirit, and that'll hit all Dark or JP Anniversary units. And we can take a look at his stuff on the JP side. So also, his Vision card, we only get that uh, EX3, so premium unit. We get the one copy when he's maxed out. 170 attack and magic, 80% attack and magic, 100% limit damage, and 500 flat attack and magic, and all those are limited to dark category units. So just going to make sure when you're using that, that the uh, unit we're putting it on is a dark category, otherwise it won't really actually do anything outside the uh, 170 attack and magic. So he does have 150 Dark Boost, which pretty much all damage dealers currently get. Fill Limit is usual there. Stardust Ray, 250 Modifier there is okay. 150 on his Bolting. See, 40% Dark Boost on a cooldown. Premium, so he gets the 200 Killers. He does have the... Uh, in his kit, 100% uh, 100 axe modifier for limits for the first five turns. So we don't need to add an item for him to get that. He can imbue the party, which is nice with dark. Base limit, 130 dark in peril, 80 defense break, 200% attack buff, 150 limit buff, and 250 dark damage. So he's got the 130 in peril there. So I guess if you need Imperil, you'd use it for that, for the 130, guys. he's only got 120 in the move there. But other than the, the Imperil, probably not using his base limit much. And then for the shift, so he can do 200% human killer to himself, takes 30 LB crystals, and then he's got a 
finisher 1000 modifier that will take 30 crystals i believe yeah his limit is 60 so it's half his limit to cast each one but his main deal is his limit so decrease great sword resist 40 percent which happens before the damage which is nice and then his lb 290x modifier and it will stack twice to a 430 total so he'll be hitting pretty decent in 24 hits. He should be chaining uh, triple Mira, I think. So he'll be a strong LB finisher. The big thing is his leader skill is 500% attack for dark units. We have Ibarra, who will have the 550 for magic units, but only 300% for the dark uh, physical attackers. And that's pretty much all the news we have. So I'll be doing ticket pulls. I've been saving tickets for Deoxys and Scarlet Rain. So we'll do on banner ticket pulls for both of them. Uh, anybody that decides to pull, good luck to you. So we're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.